Hello everybody and welcome back for another deck review. In today's review, I'll be reviewing the two red and blue series 1800 decks made by Illusionist. So, I'll be reviewing the blue one because it's, that one's open. So let's just place the red one on the side. So let's start with the outside of the box. So as you can see, the design on the front is the standard um, blue rider back design. Apart from that, it's all worn away and it gives it a nice effect with a little tear down here. like. I like it's just been left out in the sun, but actually it just feels all normal, just like a normal bicycle deck. And yeah, and it's actually not all worn away and like rough. And it says series 1800s along here, and bicycle and playing cards along here. So it's pretty standard, apart from the design and artwork. On the side it says Ekish Finish Made in USA, with the same all worn away style to it. Outside it has United States Planned Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Still all worn away. On the bottom it has the standard barcode with the Illusionist logo. Still all worn away once again. On the top it says series and I guess it says 1800s below the seal. Also worn away. And it has a red United States Planet Co. Company seal. Also worn away. It's great. They've done artwork on the steel seal. And the red one has a blue seal. Great effect. And and here's the back design, and we'll get onto that later on. So let's get inside the deck. Also, um, standard copyright information, and that is also worn away, worn away on the tabs. So let's just take the deck out. Okay. So here's the back design. Now, as you may have noticed, this is not the same design. I can see it's more worn away on the box than the actual decks. Well, that's okay. It's not much though. So anyway, so as you can see, it's worn away. It's got a couple of cracks in there, like just faded and stuff. So there we go. Now, jokers. It's all like dirty and all yellowy and all faded away. Still same style. And it's got the Joker, pretty standard Joker, and it's still like just there's just a black edition. With the stars in the corners, that's basically the own, only difference to a normal Joker. And you get two of these, both identical. So just place these aside. And you also get two Illusionist cards, as you can see, as if they're even older. As you can see, it's still all cracked and faded away. When you get to the reds, still the same, like so. As you can see. And the Queen of Hearts, for some reason, it is the best one, I think. It looks even older than all the others, and more faded, and just gives a great effect. And uh, that's my favourite card out of this deck, I don't know why. It just is, for some reason. And there you go. So now let's get on to how the deck actually handles. So, it, sp it ribbon spreads fairly evenly. But when it flips over, it tends to just chunk up a bit, as you can see, along here, chunked up, but that's not much. And it dribbles very smoothly, like so, and also riffles very smoothly as well. So this deck is very smooth. And it feels completely like a standard bicycle deck. The designs on it and the artwork are just great, and I, and I highly recommend this deck because the designs on it are, are great. And, and it's well worth its money. And I'll put the link in the description below, and maybe put an annotation on the screen somewhere of where I got this deck. So I highly recommend this deck. Go pick it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.